everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be talking about Alfred and Dolores Palmer who were murdered on their dairy farm just outside of Medicine Hat, Alberta in 1990. Now, I don't have a lot of information on this case and there wasn't a lot available online so this will likely be a very short video. However, I always feel that it's important to bring light to cases and cold cases like this. As well, it happened in the province that I was born and raised in, and about four or five hours from where I currently reside. Alfred Palmer owned a dairy farm just outside of Medicine Hat, Alberta. He was a very community-oriented individual and was once a counselor with the Municipal District of Cyprus. His daughter-in-law, Dolores Palmer, was obviously married to his son, and they lived on the farm as well in a separate residence. Dolores did work on the dairy farm, however, she also worked as an assistant teacher with the Seven Persons Early Childhood Services School. At the time of her murder, Dolores was a mother to a 9-year-old boy and a 12-year-old girl. She had many friends who described her as a bright spirit and was well-liked within the community as well. On December 30th, 1990, the RCMP were called to the farm at about 8.45 p.m. Both Alfred and Dolores were found at the rear entrance to the farmhouse and they had been shot with a 410 caliber shotgun. Dolores was pronounced dead at the scene while Alfred was airlifted to a Calgary hospital. Unfortunately, Alfred passed away the following day, December 31st, 1990. Like I said, there's really not a lot of information about this case. Um, the most I could find on it actually was on a discussion forum for Unsolved Canada. So let's take a look at what I found there. On the Unsolved Canada forum, I found a comment from an individual claiming to be from Medicine Hat and indicating that there were some rumors surrounding the family. These rumors led people to believe that Dolores' husband, Alfred's son, may have been the main person of interest in this case. Alfred's son was rumored to have a drinking problem, and at one point Alfred and his son allegedly got into an argument. During this altercation, Alfred's son found out that he would not be inheriting the dairy farm, but that Dolores was to be given the farm instead. It sounded to me like Alfred trusted Dolores more with the day-to-day -day operations of the farm and obviously the long-term future of the farm, um, and not so much his son. It was unfortunately also rumored that Alfred's wife may have worked with her son to commit these murders. Now, this theory is obviously somewhat hearsay and a lot of town rumors, so let's take it with a grain of salt, but I felt it was important to include it. Um, someone in the town may know more than they've said, and perhaps the rumors could have some truth to them. So moving forward, our next theory is surrounding a large yellow or brown sedan initially reported in the investigation. There were two occupants in the vehicle that allegedly visited the farm and had asked Alfred for gas for their vehicle. Alfred told them that he had none, and that was seemingly the end of their interaction. I wasn't able to find much more information about this vehicle and whether they found the occupants of the vehicle and whether they were questioned, so I'd be very interested to know if anyone else saw this vehicle, who it may have belonged to, um, and where this led to, if anywhere. Um, if anyone knows anything and you're watching this video, please drop it in the comments, because I'd be interested to know if anything came of this theory in regards to the police's investigation. Uh, and lastly, the police had also looked into a recently released inmate in the area. Obviously they would have had to pursue that lead, but as far as I know this individual was never identified or named, and it did not lead to any further information regarding the case. Alfred's son passed away in the late 2000s, and Alfred's wife has been questioned many times to no avail. It is believed she now suffers from dementia. Dolores' son, who was only nine years old at the time of his mother's murder, now works for the RCMP. That is unfortunately all I have for you today. I would love to hear what theory you believe is most plausible, whether it was regarding the family and the son and his displeasure at learning that he was no longer to inherit the farm, or if it was perhaps an opportunistic killing and it did in fact have something to do with the yellow or brown sedan. As always, please remember to be respectful down in the comments, whether it's regarding the individuals involved in the case, um, the victims, or responding to anybody else, and all nasty comments will be removed. <laughs> 
If you do have any information regarding this case, please call Crime Stoppers or the Redcliffe RCMP Detachment. I will leave the information for both below. Anything might be helpful. You honestly never know what small piece of info could lead to a major discovery. I always believe that somebody knows something and if we can get these cold cases out there, get the information on the victims out there, um, perhaps somebody will remember seeing something or remember knowing something about that time or that day. Uh, you just never know. Please share the story. Uh, please have a discussion in the comments. And with that, I am signing off. Have a great day, guys, and thanks for joining me. Bye.